Hey guys, Eliza here. So, after being out of the tech scene for a while, HTC made its return with their new U-series lineup, including its newest flagship device called the U11. Aside from its squeeze feature, what else does this device has to offer? Let's find out. Right off the bat, the HTC U11 looks spectacular thanks to its liquid surface and 3D Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It sports a 5.5-inch Quad HD Super LCD 5 display with minimal bezels on its side and is a tad bit smaller compared to the U Ultra. Below the phone, we have two capacitive buttons and the home button on the middle which also acts as the fingerprint scanner. Up top, you will see its 16 megapixel front-facing camera. On the right side, we have the power and lock button, volume rocker, and two antenna bands on both ends of the device. The left side, however, doesn't have any buttons on it. Above the phone, you will spot another antenna band, microphone, and hybrid SIM tray. We were quite floored when we saw the hybrid SIM tray's location because usually it sits on the right side or either on the left side of the phone. Underneath the phone, we have a USB Type-C port, two antenna bands on both ends, microphone, and speaker grill. And as you may have noticed, the phone lacks a 3.5mm headset jack. This is because HTC decided to implement the use of their U-Sonic earphones, which hooks up via the Type-C jack. Flip on its back and you'd be surprised to see your own reflection. No kidding guys, it's that glossy and you can even ditch your mirror for this. It is a beautiful, glossy, liquid surface with curved edges that made the phone a sight to behold. Holding the phone feels comfortable and solid. However, it is terribly susceptible to fingerprints and smudges. The phone also has an IP67 rating, meaning it is dust, splash, and water resistant up to 1 meter of fresh water for up to 30 minutes. And just above the HTC logo is the 12 megapixel f1.7 rear camera accompanied by an LED flash. So as we previously mentioned, the U11 sports a 5.5 inch Quad HD Super LCD 5 display with the resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels which equates to 534 pixels per inch. Color reproduction looks rich, accurate, and well-saturated. Viewing angles are also good. Under the settings menu, you can control your screen's temperature based on how cold or warm you want your screen to look like. Audio-wise, the U11 is embedded with high-res dock and HTC boom sound, which gives you an option to switch from music or theater mode. Audio quality sounds good and comes in with a good bass punch, which you can rarely find in smartphones these days. And HTC's U Sonic earphones with noise cancelling feature also stayed true to its claim. It offers deep bass tone and gives off real voice clarity. So the U11 shoots at 12 megapixel f1.7 rear camera with HTC Ultra Pixel technology, ultra speed autofocus with dual tone LED flash and OIS or optical image stabilization. Fortunately, there's a pro or manual mode feature in it so it gives you more control on how you want your photos to look like. And you have the option whether to save your photos in JPEG or in RAW format before shooting. Other stuff like HDR and Panorama are included as well. For its selfie department, it shoots at 16 megapixels and has built-in features like makeup, HDR, and Panorama. So here are sample photos we got from both cameras. So as you can see, the quality looks impressive. The photos look sharp, detailed, and vibrant, especially when you're shooting outdoors. Its dynamic range is also commendable. And shooting photos in low light gave us a decent quality since it has a wide aperture of f1.7, though at times it can get fairly grainy. Video recording mode, the U11 shoots at full HD up to 4K resolution and can vary from 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second on its new update. It also has slow motion and hyperlapse feature in it. And mind you guys, the U11 offers impressive and vivid video quality 
both in daylight and low light. Apart from that, it also has a 3D audio or acoustic zoom wherein you can zoom in on the video to target your subject and amplify their specific sounds. The U11 runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat with HTC Sense. There's nothing really special or new with the U11's UI since it looks like your typical Android UI that comes with an app drawer. However, the good thing about it is that HTC did not include any bevy of bloatware. So you only get essential apps like Notes, Weather, Flashlight, and other pre-installed Google apps. An HTC companion which pops up to give reminders or suggestions. Of course, we will not forget HTC's Edge Sense or commonly known as the Squeeze feature wherein you have to squeeze both sides of the U11 to launch a certain app. By default, it launches the camera app but you have the option to replace it with whatever app you want. The unit we have comes with a 128GB of internal storage with 15.79GB consumed by the system and an ample 112GB left to use. Powering the U11 is Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 835 chipset, a Adreno 540 GPU and 6GB of RAM. Undoubtedly, performing several tasks with this device was one heck of an experience. With its powerful internals, launching apps, web browsing, and multitasking was a breeze. Its fingerprint scanner can store up to 5 fingerprints, and so far it's been lightning quick and responsive. We were also able to play graphically heavy games such as Asphalt 8 and Injustice 2 clocked at the highest setting with no fuss. However, the device gets pretty hot after hours of using it, but it isn't something to be alarmed of. Moreover, here are the benchmark scores we got. So the U11 is equipped with 4G LTE A CAT16, Wi-Fi 802.11 AC, Bluetooth 4.2, NFC, USB Type-C, and GPS. And as far as connectivity goes, we haven't experienced any problem with the U11. Despite all the great features of the U11, it was a bit of a downer that it only offers 3000 mAh of battery capacity. But having done our usual video loop test, it was able to last for 14 hours and 56 minutes, which is pretty surprising given its battery capacity. As for our PC Mark battery test, we got 9 hours flat. From heavy social media browsing, picture and video shootings, and playing games, the U11 was able to last around 7 hours of continuous usage via Wi-Fi and 4 to 5 hours via mobile data. Thanks to Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, charging the U11 only took us 1 hour and 50 minutes and that's from 0% to 100%. HTC may have been away from the spotlight for a while, but its great comeback with the use series of smartphones, particularly with the U11, did not disappoint. In fact, it's the kind of smartphone that you will grow fond of as time goes by. We liked its premium design, quad HD display, powerful internal hardware, edge sense feature, high res image and video quality, fast charging, fluid multitasking, and impressive audio quality. What we did not like so far is that its back panel is prone to fingerprints and smudges. Small battery life given its specs can be a little bit slippery on the hands and the lack of 3.5mm headset jack. So if you're looking for a smartphone that rocks both on the look and internal department, the U11 just might work for you. So this has been me, Eliza, and thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And see you guys on the next one.